Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm in the Beka region of central Lebanon. And today is a very special day. We have come to, a, it's called Taneyal Eco Lodge, but there's a man here named Fadi who specializes in whole grilled lamb, Lebanese style. It's actually his own style. And today we have the special treat to watch him from uh, the full raw lamb. He's gonna marinate it, he's gonna prepare it, he's gonna grill it for six hours. It's gonna be so tender and juicy. This is gonna be an amazing day and I'm gonna share all of it with you in this video. We arrived to the Eco Lodge, which is built all in the traditional style of the Beka region of uh, Lebanon. We're actually gonna stay here for the night, but this is where they're also gonna roast the lamb and prepare the whole lamb, so we're gonna do that first before we walk around, before we see some of the aspects of this entire, like almost like a village created, recreated as an eco lodge. Hello. Meet Fadi, okay. the number one specialist in uh, lamb barbecues yes. in Lebanon. Fadi is also awesome. the manager of the eco lodge, the restaurant. Okay. So uh, yeah. he's ready to start with the preparation. The lamb. And here you have the full kitchen. Everything okay. is locally made. The bread, the meat, butchery, bakery, everything. Vegetables grown in the farm. Oh, nice to meet you. Where is um, Camel Hill for you? Okay. We're in the kitchen. He's slicing the lamb. Oh, you're slicing the lamb. Let me show you. I'll own it. So he's just preparing the lamb, making some cuts, cutting off some of the excess fat because he said that will burn and it will also be not good when it's so good when it's uh, grilled and just leaving the some of the fat and some of the, especially the fat that's within, embedded within the meat so that it keeps it juicy. But yeah, he, he knows exactly what he's doing like a surgeon, just making incisions for strategic, strategically for for grilling for <laughs> spices I'm sure. Just trimming it up. Take al betruh la shi maya, let me maya. Now they're adding in a it's a long metal pole skewer all the way through it. So it's gonna I guess I think it will be on a spit. Maybe it will rotate. It should rotate, right? Yes, push, you get push, that even, right. even roast all the way through. These guys are professionals. They're pros. They, yeah. they make it look easy. They're it's doing it easy. so fast too. And the trimming and like getting it prepared, they're doing it fast. Now securing it, wrapping it, securing it with thick wire. Uh, because I can imagine after it grills for hours, it will start to drip, it will start to juice, it will become so tender that it will like, just bones will fall off, meat will fall off, but they're ensuring that it won't by wiring it together. Also, it has to be secure on the pole so that when it turns, when it rotates, it doesn't move either. As he was trimming up the lamb, he hung up a little, a little surprise. <laughs> but that's not the surprise, actually. The surprise is coming. So cool and like so soft before you even bite down you can like in wrapped in the bread you can feel how soft it is oh wow oh camel that is like butter if you're not thinking about what it is like it's just try not it's amazing and then the mint also like mmm yes
<laughs> okay, number two. And this one is a double, by the way. I've got two pieces. Okay. Let me just explain to you. Okay, in Lebanon, they eat a lot of raw meat, some of the raw organs, raw liver. But Fadi takes it to a new level, and maybe it's traditional too, but he eats the raw testicles of the lamb. You can tell that's fresh. It's so creamy. It's it's so cool and refreshing, to be honest. It's really soft good, right? and smooth and... It's so, like, buttery. Now comes on the... The lamb onto the, the grill. There was no Wait, who are Wait, okay, okay. Oh, let's say the lamb is just doing it. That's right. First he took some lemons, fresh lemons, squeezed them on and even like rubbed the skin, the, the fat, the outside with lemons. Um, and now he has this spice mixture which is like a liquidy spice mixture with yogurt, but a bunch of spices in it as well. And he's... Mm, it already smells good. You can smell the... Sumac. And sumac. Cinnamon, maybe. Cinnamon. Um, he's <laughs> rubbing that all over. Of course, it's yogurt. A yogurt on the lamb. That smells Whoa. amazing. He says that's gonna keep it juicy. That's gonna have really like. It's fresh. It smells great. Yeah. They're wrapping the entire lamb in tin foil now. Probably gonna seal in the juices and keep that marinade on the meat as long as possible. I'm guessing like maybe at the end they would char the, the skin so you get that smoky flavor. But first you want to keep those juices in, hold those juices hey. in. Yes. Yeah. That's it for seasoning. And you will film the process of uh, putting Starting the, the coal. charcoal. Yeah, sure, so sure, sure. Then we will wait for hours. Cool. And it takes about six hours to grill, I think. That was great. That was an experience. That was a, a lamb experience, a new lamb experience, that's for sure. Okay, so something that Fadi was explaining to us is that he's gonna just manually turn it. No machine, no nothing to use to turn it. He does it manually because he can control the fire. He knows what parts of the lamb need to take longer so he can leave them on that section for longer. So you know it's gonna be perfect. You're gonna, I mean, it's gonna be way better than automatic because he's gonna control where the fire goes, what parts get done, uh, what parts need more time over the fire and need hotter fire. It's so refreshing. Since being in Lebanon, I love drinking yes. from the... What is it called? Bri. A bri. Yeah. It's the glass glass pitcher that's communal. And it's it I works. I can explain it's, it. It's just more refreshing, more fulfilling. To yeah, it probably. really is. Like, and it's also communal because everybody can drink from exactly here without, without germs. Like a pro. Just a little spillage on my shirt. I am, I am getting better. Okay, one more time. I need to work on my ending. Ending is where I get the spill. Oh, Mikey, you want some? You want some? Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> I have to work on my ending. Nice. Like a... <laughs> 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 Your place is set up like a traditional Bekka style village uh, with a big courtyard grassy area in the middle. It's, it's really nice. It's really breezy. It's a great place for kids to run around. Micah's having a fun time. And we just, I think they raise pigeons. Yeah. Micah, stop here. Stop here. Pigeons. <laughs> Not in the 
you just spread out the charcoal. The charcoal is still being lit, but I'm sure they're gonna keep on feeding the fire, adding more charcoal as they go. Uh, but then he just sat down on the chair, said I'm gonna be sitting here for the next five hours, slowly rotating. That is uh, a time commitment, but it's gonna be worth it as it slow roasts and just grills perfectly, not even evenly, not even evenly, but more perfectly because the, the different sections of the lamb. Micah, come over here. Hey, Micah wants me to go get his, he got this big bouncy ball. So I'm gonna, actually I'll just show you our room in the process, but this is, this is where we're staying. This is the Eco Lodge. This is the, the communal kitchen, I believe. And over here is a communal living room. You have seats, you have a table, but this is the traditional Becca style uh, where people would be a uh, community. There would be a family living here. There would be a family living here. And then a communal sitting area here. Fire is still pretty, it's pretty low, not too hot, but you can already start to hear the, I think, I'm pretty sure there's some dripples of juice coming out already. I don't know if I'm imagining it yet, but I'm beginning to smell the, smell the juices, smell the aroma. They're rotating the lamb, having a quick cup of coffee. It's probably been about four hours now. Still need some time, I'm sure, but look at the progress on this lamb. The skin is blackened and just bubbling. He's slowly rotating it. It smells so good. It's hissing now. You can feel the high. The fire is really hot, um, and every I mean every second you hear just driplets of oil and juice just dropping to those coals, hissing away. It's just dripping with juices and fat. That smells so good. It looks incredible. I cannot wait to try it, especially that outside skin area. Oh man. Thank you. And he just drizzled on like an entire bottle more of that sauce, that yogurt mixture, the sumac, the other spices in there. Like some of that yogurt marinade, the blackness of it, just the caramelized glaze, the caramelized yogurt and spices on that skin. Along with the lamb and probably many other dishes, she's gonna make kibbe, traditional way, using the big stone mortar and wooden pestle the minced meat with bulgar. Good. Thank you, yes. <laughs> smells very good. Okay. Yeah, like all the time. Shukran. Saha. Oh wow. It's so good. You just taste the pure spices of the meat and the freshness of it. Yes. It's so fresh. It's just like neutral tasting. Also, yeah. Fadi, tala ala. Shafna shaf ya on ajabatna. Cheers. Cheers. And with kebe, always oh, gotta have arak. <sighs> really good kebeneya. I think it's actually a coarser grind of meat than other versions that I've had. It's more coarse, it's less smooth, really good texture. And I does. it is already mixed with the bulgar when she pounds it, so then she just pounds it. She's making whole plates of it. You could just get it by the plateful. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's so, it's so like a harmony of flavors and so like, so pure tasting. Oh wow. 
the lamb is coming along very nicely. It is almost done. Uh, I know they're putting the kind of the finishing touches on it. They put some clay pans in the bottom of the charcoal. I'm not sure what they're going to do, if they're just going to catch the drippings as they shave it or what, uh, but very close. I'm very excited. Okay, they're preparing the chopping board, the knives, the, all the spices. Here. You can see the chili powder, the cumin, the pepper, the sumac, the salt. I think what's going to happen is they're going to transfer the, the lamb from the spit from the fire to the chopping board. That is a gorgeous chopping board. Chef Fadi is preparing. I can almost taste the lamb already. It is getting very close. That's good. Wow. That's a lot of meat. This is from the prophet. <laughs> oh wow Unbelievable. Wow. That's a Big bite. Big bite. Mm -hmm. mm. It's wild. Oh, wow. Mm. Mm -hmm. Ooh. It's turning into an omakase, it's like omakase style. Oh, wow. I can't even explain it to you yet. Those are two of the greatest bikes I've ever had. Take it, man. Those are huge bites you're showing me. You are the man. It's so good. <laughs> like, unbelievable good. Mm. It's like borderline ridiculously good. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Can you try that, ma'am? Yes, yes, already. Wow. How's the lamb? Wow! <laughs> mm. <laughs> wow. Amazing. Now I have a little time to, to tell you what he did to that. Before they sliced the meat, Fadi was explaining that um, he knows the perfect ratio of fat to meat and that he's going to do it for us. So he sliced off some of the skin, some of the fat, put them into those pans below. 
put it onto the chopping board. And then he sprinkled on his seasonings, uh, a mixture of seasonings. There's salt, there was sumac, pepper, I think a little bit of cumin. And then he squeezed on some lemon juice, minced it all up with his knife, just beautifully mixing it perfectly. That is just an unbelievable meat explosion. That is some of the finest tasting grilled, like smoky, fatty lamb I've ever tasted. Um, and then for another version, he mixed it in the, the clay pot with both uh, green onions and a lot of uh, mint leaves. Oh, wow. Like, when I tasted my first bite, first of all, it was such a big bite, I couldn't even, like, speak. Second of all, I was speechless, so I, I couldn't speak anyways. The fillet. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It is so tender. It is so juicy. That mix of lemon juice and sumac and salt. And cumin. Oh, wow. It's really unbelievably delicious. Oh. Oh, bite number two. Only for big. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that tastes so lean, but so incredibly juicy. Oh, man. <laughs> mm. I have to say, like, him piecing out, piecing out the lamb, knowing exactly the parts. He is a genius how he does this. Oh man, that's some of the skin. That's like layer upon layer of caramelized yogurt and lamb fat. Oh wow. That's some of the greatest like flavor I've ever had in my mouth. How did you? Oh, okay, we're going to the chicken cage here. Okay, we move over to the chickens. Oh no, this way. Oh, the chicken coop is in the back, but this is the kitchen of the traditional house. There's a chicken right, there's a hen right here laying. She's actually in the process of laying an egg and then there's three eggs she just laid right there. Wow. You can actually hear the fat melting with the eggs. Five minutes on the coals, oh that's gonna be that's gonna be ridiculous. But the entire lamb is just like the entire lamb has just been like the meat has just been fully cleared. You can, I mean you can still lick off the bones, which we will do, but that was just that was an amazing, unbelievable lamb. But he is like maybe grabbing some other parts. He's gonna work some other lamb genius ideas. Oh the head. He's got he's definitely gotta do something with the head. Oh, 
Is it Yes, but it's so good though. It's delicious. Oh! Oh! Can you rush it, Malahit? How about the milk? That's one. That's inside the spine. Oh! Oh! I've never had that. coming out of no way, the brain. No? <laughs> From the tube of the spinal cord, he squeezed it out. <laughs> and it's like, cheese. <laughs> How is it? Uh -oh. you like it? That's like the creamiest thing I've ever had. <laughs> it's even creamier than brain. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, that's unbelievably rich. That's like so creamy, my lips are sticking together from it. Seasoning. Seasoning. Everybody has to try. Mm. Thank you for it. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to be happy. 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 I'm going to and now this is the egg as we were eating it as he was thinking that the egg is ready <laughs> oh, wow like you taste the crunchy bits of the fatty lamb plus the gooey oily fatty chunks mm, I can't even describe it I'm done it's just too good and I think that's going to wrap up this entire meal. One of the most outstanding meals I've ever had. A lamb omakase fatty is a genius the way he grills the entire lamb, the way he marinates it, the way, but even most, more so, and I didn't even know it was going to be served this way, the way he pieces it out, the way he serves it omakase style, like bite by bite. He, he's a genius on how he knows how to piece it out and mix it together. I just have to say, I'm a big fan of Camel. this guy. I mean, Fadi, Fadi is really a king. You were explaining about his omakase without him knowing it's omakase, right? He's just yeah, yeah, yeah. People one he, bite at a time. Exactly. And knowing where to part it out, what to mix together, different pieces. I mean, oh man, unbelievable. I want to keep that lamb taste on my tongue forever, but since it's cherry season. Mm. Mm. We have loved cherry season in Lebanon so far. They're so juicy, they're so sweet. Mm. Thank you. That's amazing. Okay. And I'll have some coffee. Every meal, every break, every snack needs coffee. Judge me from the appearance. The masters of the lamb. <laughs> Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Shukran. 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 Thank you. Amazing experience. Yes, I loved it. Thank you so much. Oh. That was an outstanding meal experience. That's Fadi's own recipe. He made it, he created it. He's been doing it for 15 years, perfecting it. Uh, and we were talking, I was talking with him at the end and he said, the technique and the, the skill is not so much in controlling the fire, especially the way he he grills it, roasted. It's not so much in the fire, but it's in the rotation. Uh, so, I mean, that's also like controlling the heat because you direct the heat where you need it to go. That was the greatest lamb, whole lamb, I've ever had in my life. And just the way he makes the bites, the way he feeds bites. He, Fadi, has even fed 
the president of Lebanon, the former president of Lebanon, many of the diplomats, the ambassadors, he does private events for them. He's fed them that bite, and that is one of the greatest lamb bites you'll ever have in your life. Unbelievable. Also great to hang out with the entire team from Chemonix, um, who work with USAID, and what a day. I want to say a big thank you to USAID for funding, for funding this, for funding my trip to Lebanon. And then huge thank you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, you can click subscribe now and also click the little bell icon so that you will get notified of the next video that I publish. Good night from Becca region of, of uh, Lebanon. Thanks again for watching. See you on the next video.